Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this module, I'm going to discuss how you can apply CSS in components. Let's understand how we can apply CSS in components. So CSS basically stands for cascading style sheet. So if you want to use your style file, so if I go and create new lightning component, so I'm naming it as CSS demo. And if I create any component, so here you can see we have a style file. So in this module, you will understand how we can use this style file. So I'm going to demonstrate this. So basically, if you create any aura component and uh, let's say I'm using a div and inside div, I'm going to write hello, lightning, right? So this way, this div is created. And if I open any existing application, so I'm just opening demo app and here I'm placing CSS demo. And if I preview it, So here you can see hello lightning is displayed. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a class here, right? And uh, in this class, I'm just writing white. So name of class is white, right? And if I go here in this dot CSS, so basically if you write dot, like dot, this is already available. And uh, if you uh, don't write any class here and you directly write, let's say background color and gray. And I'm just removing this as well, right? So what will happen? This uh, CSS will be applied to the whole component. If I go here and refresh the page. So here you can see uh, this gray color is applied on the div. Right, so uh, in this component, we just implemented the div. So on the whole div, this color is applied, right? Because it is written in this uh, along with dot this. So dot this basically refers to the component. Now, if I write dot this dot white, and if I use it here as well. So what happens? So uh, for this div, like where class is white, so uh, dot this will be applied for other tags and for uh, the tags where you used class as white. So this will be applied. So if I copy this and paste it here and uh, change the color to white, so you will see the difference. So if I go here and do a refresh, so you can see now it is in white color, right? Now, if I create one more div, let's say I write hello aura and I'm just removing this class. So what will happen for this div background color will, will be white, but for this div background color will be gray because we have not applied any uh, class here. So if I go here and refresh, so you will see the changes. So hello lightning background color is white and hello aura background color is gray. Okay, so this way it is implemented. Now, let's suppose I created an ordered list tag and inside this, I'm going to use list items. So uh, here uh, I'm going to use the colors. So I'm using class red and uh, Next will be my background is red. Then again, list item. Class equals to green. And here I'm writing my background is green, right? So this way, these two list items are available. Okay, so this is our uh, main tag UI and this is the sub tag of this uh, UL, unordered list, right? So if you want to apply uh, CSS on this class, which is the sub tag of particular tag, or you can say like 
uh, it, its part. So what you can do, you can just copy this. And if you are, want to apply that, so you need to just provide a space before this dot, it is important, right? So for this list item, you need to provide the space because uh, it is not the main tag, right? Now here uh, you can write class as red and color will be red. And if I copy this, so I can paste it one more time for green. And I'm saving this. Now I'm coming here and uh, doing a refresh. So here you can see uh, this list item is coming in red and uh, another one is coming in the green. So this way, if you provide the space, uh, then it will work. Let's see what happens if I don't provide space. So I just remove the space from this red one. So if I go here and do a refresh, so you can see uh, that red color is not applied, uh, gray color is applied because in this case, uh, uh, this U, unordered list is not having any class and uh, uh, the CSS is assuming like this red class is related to the main tag, not to the tag which is uh, written inside a particular tag. So if you have any sub tag, so in that case, you need to use this space, then only it will be applicable. So I hope with this example, you understood like for top level tags, uh, you don't need to use space but the tags which are available under the uh, top level tags. So you need to use the space, then only your CSS will be working properly. So this way you can use any class name and uh, uh, accordingly you can uh, provide the CSS. And in, in, in a particular block, you can have uh, like multiple properties. So if, if I want to apply color, so for this I am applying color as red. If I save it and do a refresh, so you can see background, like color is uh, red for all, all the tags, because I applied it uh, for this. And here, uh, only background color is applied, not the foreground color. So that uh, red color is applied for all. So instead of applying it for all, so you can remove it. And if let's say you want to apply it for wherever class white is used. So now if you refresh, so red color is applied only on this hello lightning, not for others. So dot this is for the whole component. And uh, if you want to use CSS for particular tag, so in that case, you can create a class and uh, don't forget to uh, decide like whether it is the top level tag or it is the uh, tag which is under the top level tag. So accordingly, you can uh, just remove the space or you can use the space. So this is all about how to use CSS in the components which are built with the help of Aura Framework.